Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this is happening right now. Robbie Anderson of the Carolina Panthers has been traded to the Arizona Cardinals. Steve Wilkes was fed up with some of Robbie Anderson's behavior from this previous game and decided to move on from the wide receiver. And this was a very interesting situation happening with Robbie Anderson and the Carolina Panthers during that Rams game. We're gonna go into that and a little bit more about what the Cardinals can expect with their wide receiver room. Tons of changes are happening there with Marquise Brown being injured and from what we know the injury is not too significant but Robbie Anderson completely had another meltdown we've seen these meltdowns happen with Robbie Anderson before we've seen him yell at Sam Darnold on the sideline upset about Sam Darnold's play which you can't blame Robbie Anderson for being frustrated but hey you kind of want to keep your Jets cool and not really have a confrontation on the sideline but this is what Robbie Anderson has done and even when Baker Mayfield was first traded to the Carolina Panthers or the idea was just floated out there Robbie Anderson took it upon himself to say some negative things about Baker Mayfield through social media he claims he was just defending Sam Darnold oh I'm just defending Sam Darnold the same Sam Darnold that he yelled at on the sideline prior to the Baker Mayfield trade so he's thrown shade at both of the quarterbacks that are on the roster of the Panthers so far and then in this past game you know he had tons of frustration with the wide receiver coach started getting into it with him and this sort of manifested and spiraled out of control to the point where he wasn't even sitting with the other wide receivers on the sideline and this and this gets a little crazier so we've seen him get frustrated we've seen him eventually get kicked out of the game by interim head coach Stephen Wilkes but right here when he's sitting separate from his teammates on the sideline Dov Kleiman makes a remark about this makes a tweet about him sitting not near his teammates during a football game game and we know prior to this game yes he, he he was shocked there was rumors being floated out there that the Panthers are on a you know kind of a fire sale and they're trading away some of their best assets Robbie Anderson was extended prior to the 2021 season and they're considering shipping him away so this kind of probably manifested made this difficult for him to compete in this game knowing he's probably going to be traded in the background so you see him not sitting with his teammates this is before being kicked out of the game and then he retweets Dov Kleiman pointing out you know that he's not sitting with his teammates and even goes on to say hey I'm, I'm just staying focused on the game and I love to play and I and I didn't know I had an assigned seat y'all trying to hard with this y'all trying hard too hard with this saying hey I didn't know I had an assigned seat well Robbie Anderson we, we would figure that you would sit next to the rest of the wide receivers and your wide receiver coach during an NFL football game but this just shows kind of how how he gave no F's gave no F's towards the end dissing the QBs getting getting upset on the sideline especially when you hear that you might be traded not sitting with your teammates and this is manifested in a trade Ian Rappaport reporting the trade new wide receiver for Kyler Murray hopefully Robbie Anderson will be happier there it, it seems seems quite possible because he didn't like the situation at all with the with the Panthers however the Cardinals haven't been doing too well either, but they didn't have to give up too much for Robbie Anderson, just a sixth round pick in the 2024 draft, and then a seventh round pick in 2025. So really nothing. They really sent away Robbie Anderson to the Cardinals for absolutely nothing. What makes this a little more weird is, is interim head coach Wilkes previously coached the Cardinals for just one year and then was eventually fired. And now he just gave them a wide receiver on a silver platter for Maybe just you want to get this guy out of here. You don't want to deal with him anymore. But I think if you're a Panthers fan out there, you're kind of hoping you got a little more for Robbie Anderson, somebody who this team just extended before the 2021 season still has uh, $20 million in dead money, which is going to go against the Panthers salary cap for this year and then also next year. So $10 million of that, you're pretty much going to still be paying next year. You'd want to get some more compensation out of that. But unfortunately, that is what's happened for the Panthers. Now, what prompted this trade for the Cardinals was the fact that Marquise Brown looked like he's going on IR. He had a huge injury happen. Then he finally got an MRI on his foot. And it turns out it's a small non-surgical fracture. Ian Rapport is reporting that he should only be out about six weeks. So at some point, 
if the Cardinals are still in the playoff race, this guy is going to come back in a timely manner. And another guy who is coming back in a very timely manner for the Arizona Cardinals is DeAndre Hopkins. D-Hop is finally back, finally activated. I would bet money that this guy is probably going to be playing in this Thursday night football game against the Saints. So the Cardinals... You know, even though they haven't had much time with Robbie Anderson, you got somebody like DeAndre Hopkins who already knows the system, already knows the offense, who's going to be back and to be ready to go on Thursday. Then you could plug and play Robbie Anderson for that matchup. You're also facing a Saints team that's dealt with injuries, dealt with tons of problems over the past few weeks. So this is a perfect opportunity for them to get back on track, especially after losing to Geno Smith and the Seattle Seahawks, a division rival. So when you look at this, at some point, the Cardinals could be rolling out there with their offense with Marquise Brown in six weeks, DeAndre Hopkins, and also Robbie Anderson. That is a all-star wide receiver room. And for the Cardinals, they're in the NFC West, where this is a very competitive division. It's anybody's division. They're only one game behind all the other teams in the NFC West. Yes, they recently lost to the Seahawks, but this is still going to be a competitive division down the stretch, and hopefully these weapons help them out if you are a Cardinals fan. But however, for the Panthers, they need to just focus on getting as much trade compensation as possible for some of their assets. I think they're kind of put in a pickle with Robbie Anderson because the whole entire world knows that this guy wants to be traded. They want to trade him. And when that happens, that's a recipe for a disaster. That's a recipe for another team to say, hey, uh, we're only giving you a six or a seven the round pick because we know this guy doesn't want to be there you don't want it and then your hands are tied and you're like you know what maybe I got to get something that's exactly what the Panthers did at one and five at me honestly no shot at all uh, for the division this year everybody knows it Matt Rule recently fired the best the Panthers could hope for is you develop some of this young talent they have see what you have in Baker Mayfield maybe you offer him an extension but that does not look likely it looks like Baker Mayfield will probably be testing free agency at the end of the season this is a brand new channel very few of my viewers are actually subscribed, so make sure you subscribe to this channel for more NFL content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.